Sure. What a pleasure. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're quite sure. Can you pause for one sec? Yeah. I'm sort of remembering that in the past we have covered these up. I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, Forget it, just, right? Yeah, okay, good. Just... Right, good. I remember a time when it's, it's, you know, I bartended, I did whatever I had to do to survive, but everything was for filmmaking. You know, I've now made four films, I'm making my fifth film. The, what's, the, what's incredible is to feel like at this point uh, the work is so consistent in a couple regards even as I go so far afield and I'm filming in prisons or I'm filming in my grandmother's living room down south uh, or filming you know bishops in in England I feel like the main two themes as I see them in my work are the price you pay when you keep secrets and the, li the potential liberation of living in the light of truth. And then the fact that everyone, starting with myself, is capable and, and culpable uh, in relation to great evil and, and real good. That we all are really daily doing some really um, terrible things. Uh, now that I am midway through production of my fifth film, there are ways in which it's a lot easier, the process, and ways in which it's harder. My life is anything but balanced. And, uh, and so I just, I feel like I luck out. I luck out with good subjects, I luck out with films that can be shot over time. Now, particularly, I only make the film upon which my life depends. And that's a luxury, that's thrilling, and it makes me um, faithful to that art process in an economy and in a life uh, where there's some strong competition for my time. I think that what's critical in making a film is two things, and a couple more things. Stamina, you gotta be able to hang on to this baby until it's done. And then it might not be done, and you gotta hang on some more. And that's really hard. So if you are not really in this for the long haul, get out. Because it's not feasible financially, and it's not controllable the nature of documentary film, as you would want to control it. It's gonna go places you're not planning to go, and that's exciting, but it's also inconvenient. So you need stamina, and you gotta have a good idea. If you're going out there and saying, you know, I wanna make a, a movie about toy trains, and you're pitching it, and everybody's looking at you with a blank look in their eyes, you've gotta take that to heart. Now you are pro well, no, sometimes you're right. And that Toy Train movie is gonna blow off the roof of what we thought was smart movie making, and we see that. Um, and the bar is raised. But if, if, if there's no audience for your film, if, if people aren't saying, oh, then you might just wanna keep thinking about how you can spin it differently, how you can tell it differently. But stamina and a good idea. And then you've just gotta really be humble. You've gotta be Strong, have the courage of your convictions, be a director, and, and when, when it's time for you to call the shot, call it. But you also have to be really rigorous and, and show your work to people when you don't want to show it to people. And listen to them. Don't argue with them when they're giving you feedback. Listen. The greatest filmmakers on the planet make so many more terrible films than they do great films. So if you are in this business and you can't deal with failure, really public failure, you also might want to think twice because if you don't have the courage to fail hugely, then you are going to, you're going to um, censor yourself in ways that will keep you from making the art that is in you to make. So you have to really get ready for the world to laugh in your, spit in your face 
and then suck it up and lick your wounds and move on to the next project and believe that this is what you're here to do regardless of how publics respond to your work. You've got to listen because often there's something for you to hear in that but not that it's that you're lousy or incapable but that this experiment which was beyond your control didn't quite work, that the souffle didn't quite rise and it tastes gross even though the ingredients were delicious. That's terrifying. But if, you know, once you fail a few times, it's not nearly as scary. And, and the great films are, are, are in you on the other side if you have the courage to, to keep, on, keep it on.